Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are debuting a new feature. This is the Beer Geek Nation Spotlights. And what I'm going to do here is look at an up and coming brewery that I think you guys should really check out or look more into. Um, and a lot of this comes from information I'm getting from you guys. You know, you email me and send me messages on Facebook about these new breweries. This one is out of San Diego. I know, surprise, surprise, a new brewery in San Diego. But this is Modern, Time, Modern Times Beer. Um, it's a start, it was actually a Kickstarter startup. There's a brewery from Ballast Point, a brewer from Monkey Paw, and a brewer from Left Coast Brewing. Um, it was started by the former media coordinator of Stone. They all got together, and Modern Times is the result. They create, uh, craft more sessionable beers. I think they're taking that IPA, you know, style and applying it to more sessionable styles of beer. And I use sessionable loosely. They're a little bit higher in ABVs than you would expect a session beer to be, but, you know, such is the case in most craft beers. And I gotta give a big thanks to the newest sponsor of BGN, InsideTheCellar.com. Um, it's a California-based online beer store, so you can get all those you know rare California beers that you can't get on the East Coast like myself. You can have them shipped to you. Um, it's more of a boutique store. They only they hand pick basically all the beers that you can get there. You can pick up this four pack, this mixed four pack um, for about 12 bucks online. And they do something really cool. Any beer you buy, they actually send you a sheet with tasting notes of the beer um, itself. So that's really cool, really, really cool thing. They actually give you a handwritten note as well in each of your orders, which kind of blew me away. So definitely check out InsideTheCellar.com uh, for all your West Coast beer needs, especially if you guys do want to check out these Modern Time beers um, again. So let's get right into it. We're looking at four of their beers. Fortunate Island, which is a hoppy American wheat. Loma Land, which is a Saison, a classic take on a Saison. Blazing World, which is a hoppy amber ale, and Black House, which is a coffee stout. Um, and what I like about these, and I just noticed it now, on the back of the cans, they give you the, IR, the IBUs, the SRM, which is beer color, and they give you the final gravity of the beer, which you hardly ever see. Uh, it's really cool to see that, and they give you a description of the beer. So basically, let's start from left, the lightest to the darkest, and we'll start with the hoppy wheat. Admittedly, American wheats are probably one of my favorite, least favorite styles of beer. So when I heard it was hoppy, it gave me hope. I believe they're using, well, yeah, Citra, Citra and Amarillo. So you know, off to a good start there. So cheers. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's almost like a white IPA, like a, a wheat, a Hefeweizen IPA. Lots of hops in those. Uh, tropical, a little bit of a, like a stone fruit type of flavor. Very, very drinkable. This one is, uh, I believe, uh, of course. Why would I know what the ABV is on these beers? Let's look on the sheet that inside the cellar.com provided. 4.8%. So again, that's very sessionable. Very, very good. I'm surprised. It's really hoppy. Wow, that's awesome stuff. Next, we'll move on to one of my favorite styles. So we go to one of my least favorites, one of my favorites. There's rustic style Saison called Loma Land. Um, this one comes in at 5.5%. Oh yeah, very, very traditional. Um, you get that classic, I might even be our knees, uh, Belgian yeast strain, I'm getting that phenolic character in there. Lots of mouthfeel. Um, I see they're using flaked wheat, so you get a lot of that body in this one. Czech uh, Saz hops, which, you know, classic to the style. Very, very traditional, very drinkable, very, very good. Um, you know, to go from a hoppy IPA to a classic uh, Saison, you know, at the, from the same brewery, it's very, very good stuff. They have the style, definitely. Now we're looking at Blazing World, which is a uh, amber ale, a hopped up amber ale. Uh, when I hear that, I kind of think of Nugget Nectar, and that's what Shrogues does. Let's see if they're using... Yeah, 6.8% alcohol by volume, 85 IBUs. So up there, it doesn't mention what types of hops they're using in this one, but let's give, oh, yes, it does. Nelson, Simcoe, and Mosaic. That's awesome. Great combination. Holy cow. Wow. Definitely, you know, it describes it as a big, hoppy, dank amber. Definitely. You get dankness, orange peel, grapefruit, some sweet malts. Yeah, definitely want to try this one. It smells awesome. Oh wow, that's really good. Super palate cleansing, big hoppiness. That dankness just follows through, bitterness, grapefruit, very West Coast. 
it's kind of funny when I see this, when I hear an, a, a hoppy amber ale, that's basically an East Coast IPA. So it's kind of funny to see this. This is really good. I mean, this is essentially an IPA with kind of more of a sweet malty body to it. That's awesome. Really like that one. And Black House, which is their coffee stout, and I believe they're using, yep, yeah, 75% Ethiopian, 25% Sumatra coffee, uh, yeah, and a bunch of other malts they list there, 5.8%. 40 IBUs. Let's give this one a shot. Wow, big coffee. Definitely get the coffee. Chocolate. Sweet malts. Oh, that's nice. Vanilla, big silky smoothness. Subtle chocolatey sweetness. Lots of coffee bitterness in there. Very, very drinkable. It feels like a much bigger beer than 5.8%. That is awesome stuff. Big coffee. If you like coffee, you're definitely going to like this one. Awesome stuff. Be a great like breakfast stout. Or That's what essentially what it is. It's like a big breakfast stout. Awesome stuff. Wow, yeah. So I've heard about these guys. A lot of you guys have been telling me about them. And I am very, very glad I got to try these. These are all awesome beers. There's not a, you know, a stinker in the bunch, so to speak. Uh, I think my favorite is probably the Amber Ale followed by the Saison. I'm just a sucker for a great Saison and they nailed this one. So again, if you guys do want to try this four pack, you know, and you haven't had any Modern Times beer, go to insidethecellar.com. Again, you can pick this up for around 12 bucks and have it shipped to you. Definitely a great up and coming brewery. Again, doing session beers is a little bit risky, um, but it kind of stands out not in San Diego where, you know, they're known for these big IPAs and all these big, just hoppy, massive beers. So to come out and do something like this and nail the different styles and try different things, it's, it's pretty cool and kind of put your own spin on a lot of these beers. Definitely glad I got to try these. These guys are definitely a brewery that you're going to want to look at and look for if you can get it. And they don't get outside of California uh, as far as distribution. So again, you're going to have to go to insidethecellar.com if you do want to try them for yourself. But awesome, awesome stuff. And if there's a brewery that you guys want to see spotlighted in the BGN spotlights, uh, again, set you know, comment below, send me an email, facebook.com slash uh, Beer Geek Nation, Twitter, Beer Geek Nation, all that stuff, and let me know who I should look at. So until next time, folks, remember life's too short. Which one to choose? Pick amazing beers. Cheers.